Good evening, it's GB, welcome back. Today's video is so funny to me. This is a nostalgic based video. I was born in 1994. And I'm pretty sure, please sound off in the comments. Do kids these days still play hand games? Do you still play hand games? We didn't have our phones or anything when we were this young. So like on field trips, I guess you a lot of schools like won't let you go on your phone anyway during school anyway. But at recess, field trips, assemblies, in line, we would always play hand games. Um, I was thinking, I know in the ASMR community, a lot of people's earliest ASMR was playing pretend with their friends or doing the, there's an egg on your head and the yolk is running down, the yolk is running down, like the office. And I've done a, like a couple of those randomly in videos before, but I wanted to make a full video dedicated to like these old nostalgic hand games. So not like the egg on your head one, but we can do a couple of those. But I called Meg, my best friend. Um, we went to the same kindergarten through high school together. And I was like, do you remember? Like, what hand games do you remember? And she and I had such a fun call remembering games we used to play. And it's so funny that we still know the words and the, they, they're so repetitive and catchy. It just stays in your mind. I also, perhaps, I was like a little nervous this video wouldn't be like, have enough content in it. So I did also pull a bunch of old toys out of storage. So TBD, we'll go through some toys as well. I was obsessed. I was fully obsessed with this series of like plastic dogs, for example. I was just feeling nostalgic today. Look at this. Little tykes. Baby car. Are you kidding me? This was for my dolls. Okay. So 
so I have those, but I did want to start with the hand games. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to start with the absolute most basic one. And since you can't actually do them back, I'm just going to do them on your face. As is customary to a lot of schoolyard rhymes, nursery rhymes, old fairy tales. Some of these are like mildly offensive or at least have like a lot of death involved, I guess, but it, it's lighthearted. Um, but yeah, just, they're really silly. Don't worry too much, but I did want to mention that. We're going to start with Miss Mary Mac, okay? And Miss Mary Mac did not survive this hand game, so. Spoilers, I guess. So Miss Mary Mac is a very easy one. This is like patty cake, you know? Patty cake, patty cake. I never liked patty cake. Too easy. Up it up. Miss Mary Mac, you start with your arms crossed. You're gonna slap your thighs, which you can't really see in this video. Clap. Smack. Clap. Smack. Clap. Smack. And you do that again. I'm gonna take my rings off so I don't hit you in the face with my rings. Ready. Miss Mary Mac. 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 All dressed in black. Black. Black with silver buttons. Buttons. Buttons all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, mother, mother for fifteen cents, cents, cents to see the elephants, elephants, elephants jump over the fence, fence, fence. They jump so high, high, high. They reach the sky. Never came back, back, back till the 4th of July. Why, why they jumped so low, low, low. They stubbed their toe, toe, toe. And that was the end, end, end of the elephant show, show, show. Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac had a heart attack. the end, end, end of Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. <laughs> well done. Well done. Um, wonderful. A classic. Miss Mary Mac was a goth queen. We're all a little bit Miss Mary Mac here. I'm gonna move these toys over. I'm realizing I need much more room than I thought. So the next one. We've got some gender roles here. This one's a fun one. Um, it's like a little bit more difficult than Miss Mary Mac. You start with your hands like this and you would go and then you grab your hand under here Grab your hand under here, smack your thigh, snap, slap, slap, and then back to the beginning. Ready? Okay. And that starts by going, hold your hands like this. There's a place on Mars where the women smoke cigars and the men wear bikinis and the children drink martinis every breath. You take is enough to kill a snake when the snake is dead. We put roses on his head when the roses die. You put diamonds in his eye when the diamonds crack. You put mustard on his back when the mustard fades. You tell the king of spades when the king has come. You play ping pong when the game is done. And you're supposed to say, please, please, American cheese, do not show 
your lips to me or eyes to me and then you do it again to be like, do not show your eyes to me. You have to close your eyes and do it again. And then, do not show your lips to me. You gotta just make it a place on my Which is really funny because you're laughing the whole time. Um, questionable lyrics, again. And a lot of death. They make no sense. I really want to know who, who. Who made it up? It was in such like a, an eerie minor key to... Two. Okay, so both of those, you play with one other person. These two, you play with as many people as possible. So I have a really vivid memory of going on a field trip. And it was lunchtime or something. There wasn't anything else to do at the field trip. But we still had like a good half an hour or something before we were supposed to get back on the bus. And I remember my whole grade, it was very small. 28 people in a grade. 28 of us stood around in a huge circle and played like a big round of this and it was so much fun and this was down by the bank and the concept of this one is again, a bunch of people stand in a circle you have your hands out to your side I'm pulling them in so you can see somebody else on your left hand someone else would lay their hand here and then you would have your right hand on top of someone else's left hand. Okay. So it's more like a slaps game. Someone would start it, so I would start it. I would start and go down, down. Slap somebody's hand here. And once I've slapped, down. Then they slap. And it goes all around the circle. So it goes like this. Down by the bank with the hanky bank, with the bullfrogs jump from bank to bank, saying eats, hives, oves. And then, there's a plane that's trying to ruin my day. So if I were to start, it would be down by the bank with the hanky bank, where the bullfrogs jump from bank to bank, saying eats, ives, oves, umps, skittle, diddle, colonel, puffs. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And then, the original lyrics is, Michael Jackson makes me gag But We didn't really have any beef with Michael Jackson at that age So we would always um, Insert like a celebrity that we did not like Like when I was in middle school It was very cool to hate Justin Bieber <laughs> We're so toxic Maybe like Justin Bieber makes me gag or something You know? Um, and then after that part, you count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And whoever is over there on ten has to try to slap this person's hand that's right here. And if you get them, they're out, out of the circle. If you miss and they pull their hand away, you're out. You're out of the circle. And then you start again. And you'd eventually get to two people. And you would go up and down. Like this. So it'd be like... Down by the banks with the hanky banks. 
where the bullfrogs jump from bank to bank, saying eaves, eyes, oaths, ums, skittle, doodle, colonel, puffs. So it'd be like, this is your hand, this is mine. I pledge allegiance to the flag. GPA is a bar makes me gag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'd figure. very, very dramatic. <laughs> Same exact structure. <laughs> I liked this one better, the rhyming better. Same thing. It was, Meg totally reminded me of this. I forgot about this completely. It goes, soup, macaroni, bologna, ham and cheese, ham and cheese, big potato. Fritos, Doritos, Cheetos, Lays. They try to smack them on Lays. That was just so much more satisfying to say. Soup macaroni. I think you even do it double time. Soup macaroni. Bologna. Ham and cheese, ham and cheese. Big potato, chop, chop, chop. Big potato, chop, chop, chop. Doritos, Fritos, Cheetos, Lays. Maybe it wasn't this kind of slapping, but I love that rhyme. I totally forgot about it. Big potato, chop, chop, chop. 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 So satisfying. Then, concentration, that's an easy one. This one had a layer. So, you start with and you would have your hands the opposite way. Concentration, clap, clap, clap. 54, clap, clap, clap. Do not open, clap, clap, clap. The bathroom door, clap, clap, clap. If you do, clap, clap, clap. You shall die, oh my gosh, so dark. Concentration, 55, category. And then you say category. So it would be like category. And then you have to start. So you'd be like roses, violets, peonies, chrysanthemums, daisies, bluebells, baby's breath, tulips. And you get faster and faster. And you would go back and forth. And whoever messes up first loses. And you go like this the whole time. Ready? We'll do SpongeBob characters. Concentration. 54. Do not open the bathroom door. If you do, you shall die. Concentration. 55. Category. SpongeBob characters. Miss. 
Susie had a tugboat, the tugboat had a belt, the tugboat went to heaven, the Susie went to hello operator, he please give me number nine, and if you disconnect me, I'll chop off your behind the refrigerator, there was a piece of glass, the Susie fell upon it, and broke her little ask me no more questions. Tell me no more lies The boys are in the bathroom Sipping down their flies are in the sugar The sugar's on the shelf And that is the only part I can remember It's so unsatisfying I actually googled it And everything on Google is not the one we sang at school So if you remember The flies are in the sugar the sugar's on the shelf. Please let me know, because Meg and I could not remember what it was. But that one was very fun, because it was like the fake cursing. We also played a lot of jump rope. I have a cord here to pretend this is a jump rope. And you do a lot of skipping. Meg remembered. Like, we actually couldn't remember the whole thing, but it was like, Strawberry shortcake with cream on top Tell me the name of your sweetheart That's what it was I just remembered we were sitting on the phone for so long and I couldn't remember it But I just brain blasted it out of the depths of my memory just now Tell me the name of your sweetheart Is it A, B, C, D And you go through the whole alphabet and you would just keep going until you messed up on the jump rope and it was like gonna tell you who the love of your life was <laughs> you have to try to mess up on your crush's initial, you know or you would like you would land on it and then look around at the kids in your class and be like, ooh who could it be? Who's my sweetheart? Hope it doesn't start with a J. I'm just kidding. I do like... <laughs> I'm sorry, very toxic of me. I think the J name slander is hilarious. It's mostly, mostly more like masculine leaning names. But there's like... There's like an accepted rhetoric that a lot of with J names are hard to deal with in class. Why is that so funny? I don't know. Top comedy to me. I was kind of close. I was a G, but it's it sounds like a J. Gina. I was very bad. I had undiagnosed ADHD. Okay. So it explains it. But I was a very tough student, apparently. I remember. I was. I know. Get it. God. Okay. Then, there's another one called... Oh, the bubblegum bubblegum. This was, um... You could either use this to decide somebody, or... So like play a game, like you get people out. So you put your feet in a circle. I'm not gonna put my feet on camera. <laughs> and you would tap them, right? Someone would be like leaning over and tapping on top of the shoes. And the rhyme was bubble gum. Do you wish? And I don't remember if it's just on wish. Whoever's little foot got tapped gets pulled out, or if there was like a number, like 10 or something. Bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? But I know you'd have to like put your foot out. And if both of your feet got out, you were out. Fist slap. Fist. What? 
was I talking about? Oh my gosh, it was like a... I don't remember what this one was. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. It was the double this. Okay. So, I think this was... I don't remember what you did with the fists. I think it was like someone would... No, no. Maybe it's just like this. Sorry, a little loud. But it'd be like double, double this, this, double, double that, 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 double. One more. Nobody can remember. I don't think there were any words to it. But I do remember you would, like, I remember the pattern of it. Like, oh, that. Oh, oh, I remember. Okay. So you go. Those are all the hand games I can remember. <laughs> Very similarly, we remembered this. Please tell me if anyone else. Of course you did. Boom, snap, clap, boom, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, boom, snap. <laughs> that was it. the bus or not. We had some hilarious bus rides. Like, if your friends are on the bus, the morning bus always sucked. I used to get picked up at like 6.45. It was so cold. <laughs> Freezing. Played a lot of Pokemon. I listened to Beyonce on my Walkman. So that was fun. But then the bus rides home were always chaotic and hilarious. And the other thing I wrote down, something that Meg remembered, she was like, I remember this being so ASMR. And I was like, tell me, what was it? And she said, and I totally remember this, I forgot until she said it. Again, assembly or something, we do this. You put your arm out, give your arm to the other person, and close your eyes. And the other person starts making really small circles on your wrist. And as they're making circles, it goes higher and higher and higher. And the person with their eyes closed has to tell you when they hit your inner elbow. And it's really hard because it's kind of like a divot naturally in your arm right here. So when you have your eyes closed, it feels like that's your inner 
really hard, actually. So you'd like open your eyes and their finger would be down here and you're like, ah. So tell me what. And we would always draw on each other's backs. You'd have to guess what we were drawing or the letters. I loved that. I remember sitting next to Meg being like, draw my back. Draw my back. My cousins and I would play pizza. dolls don't watch um i was never into american girl because i was into my twin dolls now i don't know what on god's green earth happened to her hair i think i cut it because i cut my own hair like i got a haircut in real life so i was like okay little little me's also gonna get a haircut but this girl needs help did i try to straighten this this looks burnt. I bet I could fix it. Okay. We're just gonna bun it. Right, give her a little bun. <laughs> I'm so sorry, girl. Shh, you're fine, little buddy. Okay. But this was the my twin doll. So they're they're bigger than American Girl. But you could pick different features on their face their skin tone and um, they're supposed to like look like you and this looked like me enough as 
as a kid. Generic brunette Italian white girl, you know? Um, and they were really fun. They had so many uh, clothes and toys and props. And the concept was is that like they would sell the same clothes, right? So like I had this shirt in my size so we could dress up together. I was and am obsessed with dolls. I love dolls. I think I just really like like role playing, make believe. I love D and D. Um acting, stories, characters. Everything I had always had a the personality stayed. It was canon. I would like come back to the toys. Beanie babies, dolls, these dogs that I'm showing you. They would keep their names and personalities. You would come back. It was like a season, you know. A lot of original characters. Do you see where I get it from? Oh. Look at these cute little shoes. I think that you could like. I remember the catalog, going through the catalog. I was obsessed. So these were great and all. But. I was obsessed. The My Twin Toddlers And you could like collect them all And I did I had so many of these I would save up I would always ask for them For my birthday and things And here's one of them So they're like little toddler size They're so cute I would always play with my cousins With these We had just like um, each one had, we would name them ourselves. This one was Brooke. They're hard, like they're... They're not like squishy, their eyes don't close or anything. But you could get them already like pre-built, or you could customize them. I think we customized a couple of them, but a lot of them were the pre-built ones. I still remember like all their names, all their personalities. They do not smell the same anymore. <laughs> oh. Gotta figure out how to store these better, I think. Okay, I just dumped out all the dog stuff. Alright. So if you're still watching this, this is basically like a GB throwback childhood tell all. I was obsessed with dogs. Obsessed with dogs. I asked my parents every single day of my life if we could have a dog. The answer was no. They were right. <laughs> they were right. But I have these little plastic dogs and I loved Bernie's Mountain Dogs. I always wanted a Bernie's Mountain Dog. Now that I'm an adult, I will not get a Bernie's Mountain Dog because they die at like eight years old, uh, horrible, horrible deaths because of their health issues, pretty much. Personality-wise, fantastic dogs. Here's a German Shepherd. I don't fully remember these dogs' names, even though I played with them so much. There are two German Shepherds. I remember they were dating. This was... They were like very, like, Opposites attract. Super serious. Super goofy. And like stupid. German Shepherds. The. Oh, look at this beautiful Golden Retriever. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a Golden Retriever. Golden Retrievers come in a lot of different colors. I'm not sure if it's something like uh, some sort of fancy retriever though, but the puppies. There's Golden Retriever puppies. You're joking me. Little puppies. This one's laying down. This little feet is played out. I 
having symptoms, I just pretended that like his back legs didn't work or something. <sighs> the collie, I do remember the collie was like kind of serious. And there's also the Dalmatian who was always laying down. Corgi, two corgis, they were together too. I shipped them, I guess. Oh, I remember this one. This is not from the same toy set. I don't know what it's from, but this was from like a little vet set. And you see his tail's red. If you got that like with wet with cold water, I think the redness goes away or something. So you could like heal him. <laughs> And then I had all these little ceramic doggies that I collected from the craft fair that always went down at my school. These gave me life. What is this? A chin, I think. Breed. Come here. I want to say this is a chin. Maybe it's supposed to be a shih tzu, but... Schnauzer? Yorkie? I would always check out the dog book from my library and just memorize all the dog breeds and think about which one I wanted. Look at the little dog bowl. Are you kidding me? You're joking. Okay, this, this video is unhinged. I'm so sorry. so many other toys. If you, again, if you like this, I will get all of my toys out of storage. I am a child at heart. Truly, I, I just really still love so much the make-believe, um, acting, characters, storylines, and there's just no surprise, huh? Truly do not change. Okay. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna be done now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please tell me all of your hand games. And if you're in school now,